What's up guys? Here's some modifications that you can do if you have any knee issues during the workout. One thing that I would definitely recommend is you get some knee sleeves. Now these aren't these big bulky knee braces. Um, in fact, this is more of a weight lifter because it's, got a, lot, it's you got a really big thickness to it, but you just want something tight to compress the knee. That creates a, dip, a, area, a bigger area of displacement, so it just keeps everything on track and is going to just protect you during the workout. So I'd recommend you getting those. Uh, several other things that you can do if, if things like lunges and squats are bothering you. Number one is always hold on to something or use the TRX because what this does is it helps you stabilize and balance. Another thing is on the TRX you can lean backwards, which is what you're supposed to be doing. And instead of you moving straight up and down like you would in a bodyweight squat, is you are going in and out. And so it really pushes the weights back in your hips and where the weight needs to be. And so it, it, uh, it protects your knee and, and puts the tension on the muscle groups instead of the joints. And the same thing with your lunge movements, it's gonna help you balance out. And again, you can lean back and drop those hips back a little bit easier. Um, a couple other things that you can do when you're doing squats is set up your range of motion that you, that, that's comfortable for you to be at. So actually sitting down and tapping a bench, you know, you can change up the level, use the boxes, put plates under it. Uh, so you have some different variations there to find that right high level for yourself. Another thing you can do on the, uh, on the lunges is put your knee on a foam roller. So you have that, that stability where you have that point where you're not having to stabilize and wiggle your knee or, or in and out to get back up. And then you can go lower, or higher obviously to change that variation up. Now a couple of the things that you can do because usually when the knee is bothering you during the workouts like lunges, you have some muscle imbalances. So a lot of times the inner thighs, the hamstrings with the quads are, uh, are not strong enough. So one thing that you can do if maybe your knees are bothering you really bad one day, instead of doing the squats that are there, drop down and just do some inner thigh squeezes. Put the medicine ball in between your knees and just squeeze the heck out of it because if your inner thighs are stronger, that could be the thing that helps out your knees. Another thing that you could do to, to help out the knees is, is the posterior chain. So anything working the back of the body, so the leg curls, anything where you're hitting the hamstrings. So you can do this on the TRX. You could also do it on the sliders. And then you can do the deadlifts on the kettlebells where you're really getting that posterior chain working. Another thing that I love doing to strengthen up the quads, you got a lot of knee issues, so the lunges aren't working for you, squats are bothering your knee is doing a reverse sled pull because you're getting that extension of the knee so it is really going to light up your quads and you can put some weight on there and it's a great way to strengthen up if you have knee issues and possibly eventually getting you where you you don't have those issues later on if you can help with those muscular imbalances now one other thing that's uh that you may want to look at doing and considering is using the joint spray that we have here for you at the squad that actually helps eat up inflammation in your joint as well as makes you feel better when you're working out um, the other thing that you want to do that's huge, you do it before you work out, is the foam rolling. I got a separate video. You can click on the link or the comments below in the description, and then that'll show you all the foam rolling stuff you need to do to break up that tight muscle tissue. So, you know, you can use your, your muscles instead of your joints when you're doing your workouts.